Hello and welcome to today's news update on COVID-19 in Japan. Today, it has been a very surprising morning when Prime Minister Shinzo Abe intends to declare a state of emergency over the coronavirus outbreak in Japan. As a recent surge in infections in Tokyo and other major cities. The declaration is expected on Tuesday and will take effect Wednesday, according to an administration source. Once declared, prefectural governors will be able to tell the public to stay at home and request the closure of schools and other facilities. This is very similar to lockdown which other countries are practicing now, including India. Abe is required to specify which areas will be targeted and for how long. Major cities such as Tokyo and Osaka will likely be targeted, the government official added. The declaration under a recently amended law will come as Japan seeks to contain a rapid increase in COVID-19 cases, which possess a significant risk to life and to the Japanese economy. A growing number of cases in which transmission routes cannot be traced have raised this alarm. Abe has warned of an explosive surge if people let down their guard. Pressure has been mounting for the declaration. Tokyo governor has stepped up calls on Abe to make the declaration while the Japan Medical Association has also sought the measure amid fears of a healthcare system collapse. An emergency declaration, the first of its kind in Japan, would restrict individual rights, allowing prefectural governors to call for the specific action to prevent the spread of this coronavirus. Even if a state of emergency is declared, citywide lockdowns as seen in other countries hit hard by the coronavirus such as China, France and India cannot be enforced under Japanese law. People will not be punished if they do not fall in line, neither can business activity be banned. Abe cannot declare a state of emergency at his own discretion. He needs input from an advisory panel of experts in medicine and public health who will determine whether such a move is required. Before formally declaring the state of emergency, the government is in principle required to inform parliament of its intention. Now a quick update on the number of patients we have in Japan. As of Sunday, the number of people with coronavirus in Japan stood at 4,563 including some 700 from the Diamond Princess cruise ship with 104 deaths reported. Tokyo confirmed 143 new infections on Sunday, marking the city's highest rate of daily increase and taking the capital's total to 1,033. To prevent the healthcare system from becoming overwhelmed and other widespread impacts, governors of areas subject to the declaration will be able to tell people to only go outside on essential errands such as grocery shopping or if they are key workers in areas such as healthcare and public transport. One reason for the recent surge in infections is believed to be the importation of cases from abroad, prompting the government to implement an entry ban on foreign travelers that have recently been to one or more of 73 countries and regions. Abe has promised the country's boldest ever stimulus measures to help struggling households and businesses amid the virus epidemic. More than 56.8 trillion yen, which equals 522 billion US dollars package rolled out during 2008 global financial crisis. The government is putting together the stimulus which will include cash handouts to struggling households with the possibility of a state of emergency declaration in mind. It may be finalized on Tuesday. 
Economists expect Japan, already reeling from a consumption tax hike last October, to have fallen into recession during the January-March quarter due to the impact of the pandemic. Keep following us. Keep watching. Thank you.